Hey y'all, my name is Andrew Duncombe. Um, most of y'all know me as a Black Rebel. Um, first time I've ever really done a video before, so I figured I'd do one. Um, I want to talk about, again, where it all really started with me and why I started to voice my opinion and um, show my support for the Confederate flag. And most people say, as a black man, how can you fly that flag that in so many years enslaved the blacks? Well, there's a, there's a whole other side to that story that people refuse to understand or even try to even to conceive a different idea of, well, maybe what they've been taught had been wrong over generations, generations, and generations. Um, the true, the true point of the matter is the controversy over that flag and the reasons of making that flag a racist symbol has been because people were taught that. Um, and the reality of the fact that flag had nothing to do with that. I wrote a post that went viral um, back inside of June, right after the South Carolina shooting there where I saw the constant attacks on the Confederate heritage um, and on the South where um, people were being attacked for supporting the Confederate flag, rebel flag, Southern flag, however, however, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I wrote a post and it went viral. I had a I had about seventy thousand shares on there, um, and a bunch of likes, and it went it, it it went pretty popular on Facebook there for a few days. Um, had all kind of comments, all kind of hate remarks, all kind of threats. Um, again, it's always the same whether it's Uncle Tom, um, bootlicker, sellout, um, a disgrace to a black race. Um, again, it's af after. After all that, it's just out one ear, in one ear, right out the other. Um, I really don't let that kind of stuff bother me. Um, but again, because I'm not here for the popularity. I'm not here to impress anybody. I am here to speak my mind and what I believe is true. Um, and I really don't care who might disagree with me or who, or who, who, um, whoever wants to attack me, whoever wants to talk bad about me again like I said I'm I'm not I'm not here for them um I'm here just to share and what I believe is true um whether or not anyone follows me or not um I'm always been wanting to speak my mind as I know a lot of the fighting and a lot of the hate it it does come from both sides but again um majority majority of it now it's it's been people attacking the southern heritage it's not just been the black race it's been all races um, directly attacking the Southern heritage because of that flag, because of the Confederate flag. Um, people are just trying to honor their ancestry who fought and died for that war, who fought to, who fought the North to keep their freedoms, um, to keep the state rights, to keep the state freedoms and to keep the North from unconstitutionally controlling the South. Um, again, history books ain't gonna teach you that. History books are gonna teach you that the North fought for slavery, um, that the North fought against slavery, and that only the South was fighting to keep the slavery. And that's really not true. The North had slaves throughout the whole war, um, as so did the South. The South actually had less slaves than the North. When the slaves came down on slave ships, they went through the Union ports, the Union seaports. Um, they didn't come on a southern. Sh they didn't come on a ship that was flying the flag behind me or flying a first national Confederate flag. They came on ships that were flying U.S. flags. Um, so again, if 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 you're gonna blame one flag, you gotta blame them all. Um, the U.S. flag has more dirt than any Confederate flag that that exists. Um, again, and that's, that's, that's how we evolved as a nation and that's who we are as a nation now. Um, but again, we, we came past that. We, we became a melting pot. We, we learned how to unite together as one. Um, 
everything that happened in the past happened in the past again it's time that bygones be bygones that we we need to learn to forgive each other for what happened in the past and i'm not trying to say what happened in the past does not matter because again yes yes history is a big key to to who we are in the present but the moment when we start letting history um the moment we let history affect us who we are in present time and to let history be negative effect on our present and on our future, that's the time when history becomes a problem, when history needs to be forgotten. We just need to learn to love one another. <laughs>